Now to Kansas City, the site of the latest mass shooting in the United States. One person was killed and more than 20 others were hurt. Police say two teens remain in custody. Investigators say the shooting was likely linked to a, to a dispute that turned violent. Our correspondent Charlie DeMar has the latest from Missouri. As investigators now process a massive crime scene, The people of Kansas City are trying to process how a family-friendly Super Bowl celebration destroyed so many lives in an instant. Lisa Lopez Galvan, local radio personality, was there with several family members. Her son was shot. She was killed. There's an initial shock and uh, it feels like a bad dream. We spoke today with her sister and brother. Can you walk me through sort of the totality of how this impacts your family. Our faith is, what's gonna, is what has helped us from the moment we knew. She brought us all together immediately. So how are we gonna get through this? It's together. The shooting victims include nine children, the youngest just eight years old. We all train for this. We're all prepared to take care of these children, but it doesn't negate the fact that it's still not normal for people to see many, many people wounded by gunshots. Police are tight-lipped about the two suspects still in custody. Video shows one person with a gun being tackled by a group, including Trey Filter. The entire time we were holding him down, people are yelling, he's got a gun, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. When he was tackled, the gun fell. That weapon appears to be a large semi-automatic rifle. This type of shooting now all too common. 60% of mass shootings occur in everyday places, churches, theaters, grocery stores, or at celebrations. Left behind images of yet another community struggling to heal. You hear about this nationally often, sadly. And no, we did not expect the day to end like this. And this shooting has some communities and families questioning whether large outdoor gatherings are safe to attend. Here at the Kansas City Super Bowl Parade, there were about 800 police officers for a million spectators. The mayor here in Kansas City vowing to carry on, including hosting next month's St. Patrick's Day Parade. John? Charlie, where are we um, in the investigation at this point? Well, we know that police do have suspects in custody right now, but as you, uh, it is clear, you know, there were a lot of people here, almost a million people here. So there are a lot of witnesses in this case. Sources telling CBS News that interviews are currently happening with those witnesses. Uh, this crime scene is being reconstructed. And along with surveillance that is all around this downtown area, here in Kansas City, so many people had their cell phones out. So investigators are certainly going through all of that right now to try and pinpoint and identify who the shooter or shooters are in this case. And with so much evidence, it, of course, takes some time. Charlie DeMar in Kansas City. Thank you.